on the app as well. Thank you. It's like the, the tone monster. Yes, <laughs> it is. It, you know, it's a res result of me literally begging those guys for years <laughs> to do a signature amp. Whose idea was it with the dual five band? Because that totally Mine. kills. That's me. That's yeah. Because I, I um, what I would normally do is run two or three heads and switch between them, um, and then I'd be able to choose which which graphic for which channel. You know, uh, like on a Mark V or a four or whatever. So I thought, you know, if we're going to have two lead channels, we need to have two different EQs. Otherwise, what's the point? You're just going to share the EQ? Totally. Yeah. The 2C Plus, I mean, that's like one of the most iconic amps. Yeah. And you're part and parcel responsible for that as well. I mean, when was your first love affair with the, with that, with the, with the 2C Plus? Like, what was the, the main first moment that you're like, wow, this is it? Well, you know, the first moment I actually didn't realize what I was hearing was listening to uh, Master of Puppets and um, oh, yeah. yeah being blown away by the guitar sound and the whole thing and I didn't realize that was a C plus at the time yeah. um, but my friend Mark Snyder who um, he used to build all my rigs and, and tech for me and stuff and now he's, he's moved on and he's a big uh, been really successful in the wine business in New York um, but anyway, he, he was the first person who turned me on to, to a C plus. You know, I had been playing other boogies and he was like, You gotta check this thing out. And he, he had a collection, he had started to collect. Um and that was it. I was like, Wow. <laughs> Sign me up. Wow. Send me in, coach. <laughs> this thing is ridiculous. Yeah. I went nice. to his place in Brooklyn, he fired it up and I was like, I gotta have one. <laughs> you know, but I always thought the amp as great as it sounds, it, you know, it, it definitely has some limitations as far as like just using, wanting to use one amp in a performance setting, you know, because it just, the, the clean gain and, yeah. and lead gain is, are shared. Especially since like yeah. Dream Theater's uh, style is so versatile, right? And yeah, like, yeah. Acoustic to the hardest metal you've right. ever, you know, balls to the wall sound. You yeah. need that whole range, right? Yeah, so I would find myself using different boogie pieces to get, you know, different sounds. Um, you know, maybe I'd use a Formula preamp for the clean, and then a Mark IV for the lead, and a C-plus for the rhythm, you know, whatever it was. And eventually the Mark V came out, which was very close, because it had the different channels yeah. and everything, but... You know, I, even with that, I had ideas... Um, in fact, I think that's how it stemmed, was we were talking about possibly doing something with that. And then the whole thing was, you know what? Let's do a C-plus reissue this time. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Everybody's talking about it. Let's do it for real with the same type of transformer and circuit. Let's just, you know, boost the feature set into the modern uh, world two graphics, two lead channels. I mean, it just does everything. It's literally one amp that does everything you need. 